welcome back to the spider's web and as you can see we're going to be finishing off our little snake from Conan so we are going to be using a little bit of paint today but nothing that's going to warrant the use of a, a second camera we're not going to be using a lot so I'm going to be using a, an old CD um, just to uh, use a palette so what are we going to do first well we are going to carry on where we left off basically um, and what we need to do first off before we do anything else whatsoever is we're just going to be going over the um, the base of the snake the emerald parts with a little bit of raglan flesh shade just to add a little bit of shadow to it there we go because it's not looking too shadowy at the moment it's still looking as though it's just had some bird green bled into it and that's not the colour we're looking for alright so if we if we just run a little bit of this over just the bottom areas you can even do some on the green as well just has that little bit of shadow these are the areas that aren't going to be exposed to light as you can see now that area is going to be exposed to light but we do want to add a little bit of shadow anyway to the lower part just like so I don't want to add too much I think I might do is go over there with a little bit of white because it isn't looking as I want it to look So I might do that and then go over with more yellow. Ah oh well. It hasn't dried as well as I'd hoped. So this is what you can do. Simple way of um, simple way of patching up to use a little bit of white paint or the paint that you used originally in this case it's white spot of water and you can just go over the areas where you need to reinforce the colour Once that has dried, go over with the comb you want it to be. There we are. Because it's on the underside, you're not going to notice too much difference in it. But we do need to just turn it up a little bit. Just like so. And that's done as well, so I'm going to have to just get rid of the wash. I'll try and soak up the wash that's in there as well so we can go over that area. Bear with me. Oops. There 
And that's that. As I said, this is watered down white. I'm not going over everywhere. That will do fine. As I said, we just want to get the areas that should be yellow but have turned green. Okay, there's also areas that are black, well, that are stone. So, what we're going to do with those areas is we're going to be going over with. A bit of black, in this case a bit on black. We just pop some as usual on our palette. A little bit of water. There we are, and we'll just go in there and paint what we need to black. With this being paint, it's going to dry fairly quick. And it's going to cover the areas that we need it to cover. Oops. And there's a little bit down here as well. Just like so. There anywhere else that is stone? Not that I can see. Not that it's fine. Okay, so that's that done. What we're looking at now is the fangs, and for the fangs, we're going to be using this black as well. Hmm. Black fangs with this fella. I'm going to give the inside of the mouth another once over with the purple so uh, because some of it doesn't look too good. It's a bit, well, when I say that it doesn't look too good, it doesn't look as strong as I want it to look. That's what I mean. Okay, so we have the black fangs done very nearly. There, I think we are. Oops. There are little bits that it's not incredibly easy to get to for this so I'm just hoping that my little added extra bits that I want to do on these works out okay so that's that and is that supposed to be gum or is it yes it's supposed to be gum so what we're going to use for the inside of the mouth is the Druchar Violet as you know, just pop, pop that to one side for a moment. Won't be needing that for a little bit. Get the good chair violets into our brush. Be a little more careful where we're going this time. And there's some areas that haven't quite taken the colour, and that's where we're going with this. And as you can see there are areas that have taken the colour really, really well. There we go. Now, next job for the mouth will be to highlight the fangs. 
but we can ignore that for the moment because I want to use a bit of a highlight for the oops, there's my phone. I want to use a little bit of a highlight for me the scales, and that is going to be done with Scorpion Green. And it's just going to be a gentle dry brush over the scales. So I just need my dry brush 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 brush. You are going to find it. Have I not got it out? Don't think I have. Um, no, I haven't. Where are you? It's also, oh, there it is. <laughs> it's hiding. Hiding behind everything. No wonder I couldn't see it. Okay, so we're going to get a little bit of this scorpion green. Now, this is one of the old colours. And this is just every now and again, we're just going to add a little touch of this. Here and the just to change the colour. I don't know why I've shut that because I want it open. Oh dear. And a bit more. Right there. And give it quite a yellowy, greeny colour. Now I'm going on to the head momentarily. Need to bring that up here. You're not going to see all of this colour. I'm not going to go. In, sorry, I'm not going to go all over the snake with this colour. Just the areas where I think the light is going to hit more than anywhere else. And just go along. The top. There we have it. Hope you can see that. It's just given that little shade difference that might really. We just show up um, in close study, but you, there is something else there that adds the colour, and you may not see exactly what. But that's that done. Next, I think we're going to be going into eyes. And I'm not exactly sure what to do with these, but I've decided, well I wasn't sure what to do with these, but I decided they were just going to be red. I'm going to use Evil Sun's Scarlet. You're not going to see much there. See that? Now, highlighting of the um, the fangs will come from 
Eshin Grey. And this is just a very, 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 very pale dry brush. Making sure that the dry brush 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 is um, dry and doesn't hold a lot of paint. And we're just going to go gently over each fang there is not that much difference on this I can see with the black I don't know if that's coming up on camera or not. But to be honest, I can't see it. <laughs> and finally, we'll just add a very small amount of this Eshin Grey with a little bit of white. And that's just going to go over the Top two teeth and top two fangs, and just the points of the bottom. I think I'm going to change brushes, and I'm just going to I'm just going to do a very fine highlights over the top edge of the bottom teeth and the, shall we say, the top. Into the upper teeth, and I'll just wrap it round there like so. And then we're going to go back to the um, yellow. In fact, I'm going to go not the yellow, the Reichland flesh shade. Oh, it should be. Use the Cassandra yet? Yeah, Cassandra. I'm going to use this Cassandra yellow, which is that one that we used previously for the underside. And we're going to just go over all the areas we did in white. mixed with a little bit of the um, Reckland Flesh Shade. I just want to take that brightness off the yellow. And then after this what we're going to be doing is adding a little bit of highlight to the stone areas with just a touch of grey. We're not going overboard with it. Oops. There is a little bit of this yellow colour gone onto the green which we don't want and just mop it up with the tissue and now let's go with our See there, it's looking as though I'm going to add a bit 
more of this Cassandra yellow to certain parts of this because it does look very 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 dull I don't want it dull but I don't want it incredibly bright So I'm hoping that is looking pretty well. Now, the next one I'm going to do is with the fangs. And I've got a little product here that card makers and things use. It's 3D gloss, vern gloss finish for liquid embossing. Okay, and what it does, you want a little spot of this to something and I'll show you on here and you get that drop that's there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just clean off the nozzle on a paper towel and on the bottom of the fang oh yeah, it's Coming else as though there's no tomorrow. Let's see if I can get this so it doesn't keep coming out so fast. Jeez. If it's coming out quite fast, it's not stopping actually. But let's just pop a little bit on that fang. <laughs> just when I thought it was going well. And now drop a bit on that fang. I don't want such a big bubble. That's that. And now we'll get some Waywatcher Green Glaze. And before that dries using a scraggy old brush because it does take a bit to dry this stuff we'll get a little bit of that green glaze on it and just touch it to and that will give it that green tint to make it look as though it's venom there we are and that will stay there on the tips of the teeth and apart from a little bit of um, Ujit uh, matte varnish over that it's that looks pretty good and that's it for the snake hope you've enjoyed it the next video we do i think is going to be on conan himself so until then as always take care god bless give you a close with the fangs and bye for now